Good morning. I hope you're well. Have you noticed that more and more top e-commerce websites like Amazon are personalizing the experience when you hit their website? So Amazon, this is what I see when I hit Amazon. It tells me, it says hello, and it tells me what I've bought. It asks me whether I want to buy them again. So a couple of months ago, I started thinking how we could introduce this into some of our WooCommerce plugins because we build um, kind of leading edge plugins for WooCommerce. And so we started on that journey. We've just released uh, a big update to our storefront blocks plugin that lets you show your customers recently viewed products anywhere on your site because we are using the WordPress block editor. So I've mocked up a few examples of where this would be really cool. Let me show you. Um, so I've just set a few th options up here. So one option is you could show this on your shop page. So if you're creating a custom shop page like I've done here, and I highly recommend you create custom shop pages, I'll put a link to a tutorial on how to do this below. We have a section in here called recently viewed and these are all the products that I've recently viewed. Now just to, to note here, your customers don't have to be logged in to their accounts to, for this bit to work. This is um, the technology we use, we don't need to do that, so it's really cool. Uh, you could also actually, if you did want to uh, show their recently viewed products on their My Account page, which is just a fantastic place to, to show um, the products they've recently viewed in terms of, you know, this is you upselling your customers right when they're managing their accounts and you can display them here. And then a final example is why not show them on the actual product page itself. So underneath the product description, you could show a selection uh, of your customers recently viewed products. Now, the other great thing about this is you can you can decide the layout of how you want to arrange these. You see in each of these examples, this is a masonry layout. This is a list layout and this is a grid layout. Um, let me show you just so I can prove this actually works. So I'm going to just uh, browse around the shop as if I was looking to buy something. Uh, and let's go in here and I'm going to look at this red handbag. Now as soon as I look at that red handbag, we trap that information and we know it and we can present that back to the end user. So now when I go back to my custom shop page and I reload it, can you see that red handbag's right at the top here? Likewise, if I go into my account page, how cool is this? There's that red bag right at the top. And if I go into my product page, there's the red bag right at the top. So we're dynamically presenting what the what our potential customers have been looking at that instance. So this is just the start of the journey. Uh, I think it's a hugely exciting thing. I'm going to show you next how easy it, um, this is to implement on your own websites. Right, here we go. So this is how you're going to add these blocks into your pages. And again, because we're using Gutenberg, the block editor, very, very simple to do. There are a few tricks to this as well, which I'll talk you through. So you're going to need the Storefront Blocks plugin, uh, which you can get from poodlepress.com. And then once you add that plugin, you'll have these new blocks available for you. Now you can use any of these layouts when we're creating uh, the recently viewed product view for our customers. Um, and it really is as simple as adding one of these blocks. So if I just add the one of my favorite grids, which is the product square grid here, that's going to bring your products in. Now the, the, the secret sauce here is you need to go over to your products over here and this is what we're after, products to show. And you'll see we've added this new product type here called recently viewed products. Now we could have released this as its own special block, but we wanted to make this functionality available to all the cool layouts that are available within the storefront blocks plugin. So you can do this with the list blocks uh, in the product. You can use this for product tables. You can use this on um, masonries, all sorts of cool stuff, even sliders. So you just select that. And then that's going to basically bring into that space um, the recently viewed products that your customers have been viewing. Now we have added um, one other cool block here, which is going to help you out. We have, and we have added this as a block for a good reason. It's a little bit hard to explain. But what it does, it only displays once your customers have viewed some recently some products on your site. Because what you don't want to happen is a heading on your site. And if nobody's looked at anything, there's just this strange heading here. So we've created this dynamic heading, which uh, is available in this one here. It's product description heading. You just add it across. And you can call it what you like. So you could call it your products or you know whatever you like you can call it. But that heading is dynamic. So it'll only show once your customers have viewed some recently viewed products um, and then just update it. And that's all there is to it really. But again, because we're using um, because we're using a product type here rather than building this into a specific block, 
you can use this functionality in any of the blocks that we that come with storefront blocks so when i when i if i just show you the account page that i built this one here if i go to edit page you'll see this ba basically this page has been constructed uh, in exactly the same way all we've done is select a different um, layout here but again we've selected the recently viewed products the other thing that you could do if you wanted to you could have a mixture so you could actually pre-populate this with some blocks to start with if you wanted to by using our selectors here and then you'll once people start viewing your recently viewed products those products will start to take over so you can actually pre-populate this with some some of your products as well so it's, it's really really powerful and then the only other thing on the um, individual product page we were using a combination of our um, woo builder blocks plugin which lets you customize the um the WooCommerce product page with Gutenberg and bringing that recently viewed functionality underneath that one as well. Thank you very, very much for watching. That is a glimpse of what I think the future is going to be for WooCommerce, more and more personalization. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please um, give it a thumbs up. It really helps spread the word. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. I'm trying to produce at least one a week at the moment, kind of leading edge stuff around the block editor and WooCommerce. So um, that'd be great to see you on board. Uh, and thank you so much for taking the time to view it. And if you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see us develop next over at Poodle Press, let us know. That'd be fantastic, um, especially around personalization. So thanks again, and I shall see you all soon.